the next thing we're going to look at, you know, when is it time to sell or when it's time to buy? So I've developed a couple of really great indicators, and, and these are what you're going to get as a bonus for the course. But here's a current uh, update here on the S&P 500. So this is a weekly chart, and this is a weekly, what we call, or calls a weekly cycle reversal. All right, so this is based on this indicator, which uh, shows you extreme ranges. So this is like a 20 period move in average. And then this is a normalized move, this white line. When, you, when we get to the blue line, that's getting very extreme or very stretched to the upside. And then the market is also very overbought based on my lower study uh, indicator. So you can see that when this uh, indicator crosses over, like where that arrow is, boom, you get that magenta arrow, and that is an indication or signal to give us alert to the probability of this market starting to roll over. So you can see it's been overbought for a considerable period of time. So we, we had, so typically, uh, also what I'll do with the, when we get a really strong market, I'll wait for at least uh, two of these arrows, and a lot of times we might get three, but when we get the third one, that's a high, high, high probability that the market's gonna stall. So you can see here what happens, you get exhaustion, buyers are exhausted, uh, and it's like musical chairs and not everybody, you know, potentially starts selling when there's some kind of news, which happened Friday. So you can see another one back here, came up here, stalled out, reversal there, goes down. Now here's a reversal to the upside, okay? And then we had a beautiful trend. So these are two indicators that I've put together, really helps you kind of navigate in and out. So that's, you know, S&P 500 on the weekly, Here's another example. Here's a risk QQQ on the weekly. You can see it too has the cycle reversal weekly, which I call long term. You can see here crossing over and see what it did. Just went sideways and now it's starting to kind of crumble a little bit more. So we'll see what the extent of this uh, pullback is. And then you see a reversal to the upside was right there. Okay, so it's a really great tool uh, to use for anything. Here's just one more example. Here's Apple you know, with the weekly, you can see the cycle reversals here with Apple, weekly cycle reversal to the downside right there. Currently, we've got a weekly cycle reversal to the upside on Apple, which I'll show you in a minute, but just a really great tool for timing your cycles in and out of a trade. 